Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Pedaris Vask's Strings by Orchestral Tools. Possibly the most beautiful string library I've heard to date, Pedaris Vask's Strings is simply a masterpiece. With both a detailed and warm chamber strings ensemble and first chair solo instruments, Pedaris Vask's Strings could very well become the go-to workhorse string library for many composers, including both standard articulations and playing styles inspired by the work of Pedrus Vasks, Pedrus Vasks Strings is simply excellent. Pedrus Vasks Strings is compatible with the FreeSign player and includes 234 gigabytes of samples that have been compressed into 96.7 gigabytes. Both standard and special gestures articulations are included for all instruments, and the library contains both ensemble and first chair solo instruments. There are six mic positions, three dynamic layers, and three legato styles for each solo instrument. Pedras Vasque's Strings is available from Orchestral Tools for 549 euros, but at time of review was available for the introductory price of 449 euros through April 26, 2023. This library is just awesome. This is a string library unlike just about anything else I've heard. The tone is rich and warm and beautiful. There's ensemble strings, there's first chair solo strings, and this thing just drips with authenticity. Pedras Vasks, uh, Latvian composer, this is actually created both in conjunction and inspired by him. So they both worked with him and actually created the library in his style with players who are actually used to playing Pedras Vasks' work. Um, the Sinfonietta Riga in Riga, Latvia actually performed this, this library, and it was conducted by a friend of Pedras Vasks, and Pedras Vasks actually worked with orchestral tools to create the library. So just tons of authenticity here. This was created in St. John's Church, which is actually in Riga, Latvia. I mean, just lots and lots of authenticity. I love the direction that orchestral tools has been going in recently with this library, with the, with the two um, libraries that were inspired by Arvo Parrot. There's just so many cool things that they're doing that really bring an authentic sound of these unique composers into your DAW. This library has all of the bread and butter arti articulations you would want, but it also has these special gestures articulations that we're going to go into. And I thought I would do something just a little bit different today. Usually I normally go through each of the individual instruments and some of the articulations from each of the instruments, but I thought, you know, this is a strings library and it's meant to be performed as an ensemble, at least the ensemble patches are. So I've actually loaded up all five of the instruments. So this is a chamber ensemble, so it includes six first violins, five second violins, four violas, four celli, and three basses, along with two first tier solo violins, one first tier viola, one first tier cello, and one first tier bass. So what I thought I would do is actually just load up all of the ensemble patches and let you hear those together and actually play some of those instruments together um, instead of just playing them separate. Now I'll do some sep I'll do these separately a little bit as well, but I thought it'd be fun to start out with some ensembles. So I'm going to go over here. You can see you've got all of your ensembles in a folder here, your first chairs in a folder here, and you can see there's just tons of articulations. This is just the bread and butter folder, so to speak. There's also this gestures folder, which gives you the very unique articulations and playing styles that you find in the music of Pedras Vasks. Just very unusual glissandi, just some really interesting things that we'll get into. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go over to the performance tab and just make sure that we're kind of aligned. Let's actually start, do I have the Mercado loaded up for each of these? I believe I do. There's the Mercado, 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 yep. And 
there's three different dynamic layers. And I think what's really interesting is there's a very, very soft dynamic layer that you'll hear here. And then there's a medium layer that I believe is actually played with, uh, it's played consordino. So it actually has the mutes in place in the middle layer. So let's turn it to the middle layer here. And then there's a loud layer that's just really, really intense. really gorgeous sound. The tone is just fantastic. Now I'm only playing right now. You'll see I'm only playing with the tree mic. So there's actually six different mic positions. There's a spot, a ribbon, a tree, a tree omni. There's an, uh, an AB pair. And then there's a surround mic position as well. So just a lot of selection here. Um, let's actually go over to the staccatos while we're doing the shorts. Let's go to the G2 key switch. I just want to make sure I'm loaded on staccato across the board. That's why I did that, because some of these you can see the basses and I believe the celli have a few less articulations than, for instance, the violins. So you just have to make sure that you're all the way across if you're trying to create an ensemble. that staccato just has a single volume layer. Let's go up an octave here. I have no idea what I'm playing there, just going along. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's go to the spiccatos while we're on the shorts. So I'm gonna hit this A2 key switch. Let's make sure that that did spiccatos all the way down and we'll fix the bases and we'll be all set. Okay. I love those dynamics. You can you can just really 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 nice. Really gorgeous. All right, let's just keep with the short theme. Let's play the spiccatos here. I mean, the, excuse me, the pizzicatos. 
Let's make sure we've got those selected across the board. You know what? There's a much easier way of doing this, Ray. <laughs> Let me actually show you. Why didn't I think of this earlier? All right, I'm just going to minimize all of those. And then all I have to do is hit the key switch on each instrument. Look at that. So much easier. There we go. Okay, let's go to, let's back up a moment. And how about we start with the sustains? Now we'll have to do the legatos actually separately because obviously that's not going to work if I'm trying to play um, legatos across the board on multiple instruments. So let's actually just do the sustains here. And there's multiple types of sustains that you're going to see. There's whisper sustains, there's regular sustains, there's a whispered soft sustains in case the regular whispered aren't enough for you. I mean, there's just lots and lots of flexibility. All right. So this actually, I'm just going to play with a little bit less. Instead of playing with two hands, I'm just going to play with one and work the mod wheel so you can really hear what's going on here. Love that top layer. I just love how it's so kind of there, there's just kind of a uh it, it it's not perfect, it just kind of is intense and it goes a little out of tune, and I love that. Oh, just intense. Let's go down an octave.
go up a couple of octaves here. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's go to the Sustain Soft. Oh, there's that. So this one, there it is. Okay. And bases. Okay, yeah, we have sustain, Sustain's Soft on all of these. So let's just try this out. gorgeous. And I apologize you're not seeing the range I'm playing in here because I haven't clicked the instrument. I'll try and be a little bit more mindful of that. Now, one of the things that I'm really impressed by with the sign player as well, is you can see I have every instrument in the ensemble folder loaded with every standard articulation, and I'm only using two gigs of RAM. That's insane. <laughs> in 2023, that's insane. I have solo instruments that use more than that for a single solo instrument. So just really, really, really incredible. Let's go to... Let's open the oops, let's open the violins here. Let's see what we've got with the sustain whispered. So let's go to the violins two, sustained whispered, violas, sustained whispered, celli, sustained whispered. I'm not sure if we have the basses in that. Doesn't look so, so I'm gonna play. I want to start with the celli.
I mean, that is really, really whisper quiet. I love that. So gorgeous. There's just so many in here. Let's actually do, let's do some trills here. So you can kind of hear what's happening there. Let's see. I mean, there's just so many articulations here, friends. And again, you know, I'm using these a little differently just for the purposes of this review. You probably would have separate, separate, uh, excuse me, separate patches for each of these, but obviously that's not my intention here. So the bass doesn't have the trills. So let's actually just start in the range of the celli. Go to the viola. And let's get to the range of the violins. Now, let's see what the difference is with the measured trill. That sounds interesting. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see, does the, do the violins too have a measured trill? Nope. Violas just have the regular, nope, they have the measured trill. How about the celli? Yes, they have measured trill. And basses do not. So we've got violas, celli, and violins one with the measured trill. So let's start with the celli. And those have dynamic layers as well. Go to the violas. And let's go to the violins. Very interesting. Okay. So let's actually go to one thing I definitely want you to hear are the portados. The portados in this library are just something really, really special in my opinion. So let's actually pull those up. Let's see here. And the violas. And the celli and the basses. All right, so we've got the basses, the celli, the violas, the violins. All right, so let's just uh, play a little something here. Listen to that top layer. I mean, that is 
is just stunning. All right, let's do the bottom layer. the middle layer and one more time at the top I mean, friends, <laughs> that is just simply stunning. Okay, I am going to actually remove everything here, clear the list. So now what we're going to do, I want to let you listen to the sustains as well, because that's something, or excuse me, the legatos as well. So we're going to do the sustain legatos in the violins one, so you can hear that, and we'll go through that with each instrument. Really, really beautiful. All right, let's do the violins too in the sustained legato. Excellent. And the violas? Okay, and let's do the celli. Okay, and finally the bass.
Now, there's still a lot of articulations that we haven't been through. I mean, you can see, even in the bass folder, we've not touched the trim shorts. I mean, in the violins, we've not touched the harmonics. Um, we've not touched some of the trims. I mean, there's just a lot here. There's so much to get through. But I definitely want to give you an idea of what's in the gestures folders before we go into the solo instruments. So we're just going to go through a little bit of the gestures. I'm not going to go through each folder. I'm actually, I think I'll just start with, um, we'll give you the violins one, the violas, and maybe a little cello. And then let's dive into the solo instruments. So let's actually go in reverse order this time. Let's do the cello gestures. I'm going to go ahead and just load all of those. Did you see how fast that just loaded? That's crazy. Okay, here are the finger trims. And the Glissando Fifth. I'm just going to leave that at the top level so you can hear it. Those are those, uh, the dynamic, the, the mod wheel does control the dynamics on that, but I just want to leave the mod wheel at the top. It's going to be easier for you to hear what's actually happening. And the Glissando two octave. Ooh, I love that. That's really cool. And the Glissando trills fifth. So cool. Okay. Sando Trills Octave. And the two octave. And the effects. Wow, that's cool. Waving longs. Up beats up. I love that. Let's do the upbeats down. <laughs> That's so cool. And the runs. And again, these do have dynamics. It's just they're so quiet when I put them on the smallest or the, the lowest dynamic. It's hard to hear during the review. Here's the runs aleatoric. And the Alexandrondo, Alexarondo, did I say that? Climax? I'm not sure. Uh, that is so cool. Very, 
That is fantastic. Wow. That is really cool. Okay. Let's go to the viola gestures. We won't go through all of these. They're the same, I believe, yeah, they're the same effects, but just in the, of course, with the viola. So the finger trims. And the glissando fifth. Let's do the octave. And the trills octave. And let's do the waving longs. I really like these up beats up and up beats down. Right, and let's do the Alex Sarando Climax. Someone correct me. I know I'm saying that incorrectly. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's do the Violins 1 gestures. And then we will move into the solo instruments. And the solo instruments, they are the first chair. Uh, I believe they're actually the, the preferred first chair players from Petrus Vask. So it's actually the, the first chair players that he likes to use himself. So again, dripping with authenticity. So now we've got the finger trims in the violins. And again, just the top dynamic layer here. That's really gorgeous. Let's do the two octave this time. That's just lovely. And the fifth. And again, with the two octave in the trills. And let's do the up beats up. And the up beats down. That's so cool. And again with the Alex Rondo Climax. And that, my friends, is the ensemble collection. Just insane. We've not even touched the solo instruments yet. So here are the first chairs, and you're going to see that it's the same articulations but in solo form. The difference though, is you'll see that there's actually three kinds of legato here. So let's just pop open the violins first chair or violins one first chair. You'll see that there's three kinds of legato. There's a lyrical legato, an expressive legato and a soltasto legato. And I mean, look at all these articulations. You've got harmonics, you've got multiple shorts from pizzicato to spiccato to staccato to marcato to portato, all the toes. <laughs> There's so many cool things. Okay, let's do a little bit of the violin one first year here.
Oh, that is just freaking lovely. Let's try the expressive. I mean, friends, ugh, that I that might be the most beautiful <laughs> that might be the most beautiful solo violin legato I've ever heard. And that isn't an entire package. That's not a dedicated single solo instrument. That is incredible. Wow. All right, let's try the Sultasto. Golly. Let's try the portado. I'm in love with the portados in this library. Oh, so lovely, guys. And the Marcado? And the Staccato? And the spiccato? And the pizzicato? And the trims? And the trim short. And the trills.
And let's try the harmonics. and the harmonic trims. And let's just do the sustains lyrical. All right, we're going to skip over the first chair violin two and go to the first chair viola. Not going to have time to touch everything, obviously. There's just so much content in here. I just want to give you a little taste of everything. So let's go ahead and do the sustains lyrical legato for the, vi for the viola. And the expressive. So beautiful. All right, I'm going to skip over and go down to the portados. And the staccatos. And let's do the spiccatos. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and skip over to the cello, the first chair cello. And we're going to start with the sustains lyrical legato. Look at all these articulations. I mean, 
This is a full solo library and a full ensemble library, all wrapped up in one with an incredible tone. Just amazing. Goodness. That. Oh, the bite in that is just ridiculous. All right, the portados again. And let's do, let's actually do the spiccato. Let's do the harmonic sustains. Almost sounds like an organ. So cool. And where it's recorded in that St. John's Church in uh, Riga, Latvia. <laughs> it actually sounds like it could have been an organ there. So cool. All right, let's go to the first chair violin gestures. We're gonna play just a couple of those to give you a good idea of what's going on there. And then we might jump down to the cello. So we've got the glissando fifth. And again, I'm only playing the top layer here. There are three dynamic layers. We'll jump down to the trills. Let's do the octave. Let's do the trill short. And the trill single. And the wavings long. And the up beats up. And 
and the upbeats down. Okay, and we're going to jump all the way down to the cello gestures. And we'll wrap up with the cello first chair gestures here. All right, so that we've got the glissando fifth. And the octave. And the glissando two octave. The trills fifth. The trills octave. Jump down to the glissando effects. And the wavings. And the upbeats up. And the upbeats down. What a wonderful library. You're really getting two libraries here. You're getting a really just amazing ensemble library with tons of articulations across all five of your chamber instruments, but you're also getting an entire folder of these gestures articulations, which are very unique and very specific to the music of Pedras Vasques, but extremely useful. One of the things I love about orchestral tools is a number of unique articulations that they've given us over the years. I've found myself using those. And, you know, it just adds life and movement and just a sense of humanity and genuineness to your tracks. It's just something that you can't imitate um, just with, you know, bland samples. It's just something unique and fresh. I got to say, the tone of this library is incredible. The reach and the, the depth of this library is incredible. The just vast number of articulations. We didn't even get into the different mic positions, and there are six different mic positions on offer here. It's just an incredible, incredible amount of uh, just incredible quality strings packed into one folder, into two folders, I should say, in one library. This might be the top of the heap when it comes to string libraries. It's gonna, it, I, I've thought for a while that it was gonna be hard to beat. Um, Berlin and some of the things that, that orchestral tools have done in the past. But I tell you, this is probably the top of the heap when it comes to orchestral tools, string libraries, and maybe the top of the heap when it comes to string libraries in general. Thanks for checking out Pedras Vasque's strings with me today. So what do you think? Are you going to be picking up this library? Does this one stand out from the crowd of string libraries for you like it does for me? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video and share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out samplelibraryreview.com for more news and reviews and stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.